morning everyone today we will discuss uh, how to create tags especially gpt tags which are used for uh, uploading on the website for uh, learning purpose so these will help the aspirants to understand how the uh, creative tags are made on which the uh, direct as well as the programmatic ads are run so we will discuss how the dashboard demo looks and how the tags are created so as you can see uh, we have to go in the inventory level and you have to choose the add units and then you have to choose new add unit after choosing new add unit you have to se select the uh, parental add unit which is top level then you can uh, write here test add unit And then you can select the code so it says it is the identifies the uh, add unit associated in the add unit codes can be set up to 100 characters in length so code like you can create test underscore uh, payment underscore bottom underscore 300 into 250 so this is a code which will be named for the tag unit to be created description you can keep it optional size mode you can give fixed size or a smart banner we are keeping it fixed size currently you have to choose the add unit code size so here you can select the size 300 into 250 then after selecting it then you you can this is optional that if you are select you are creating a video or vast sizes you have to select the uh, that value from there but it is not a vast uh, tag it is just a normal tag gpt tag of 300 into 250 so we don't need to select it so we'll keep it as it is and uh, then uh, this is target window target window is like opening open landing page in the current window or blank open landing page in new window you just have to keep it blank it is not a rewarded app so just a rewarded ad so uh, add unit so you don't have to touch this and then from here you can select the add inventories where this will be uh, uh, shown so you can just keep it uh, just as it is because you are creating a new add inventory you are creating a new ta add tag so you just have to keep it as it is the so placement is generally a group of ad units that advertisers can target all at once select the check boxes next to the placement you want to associate with uh, this ad unit so here you are not selecting anything because you are creating an altogether new unit adsense setting is generally a default setting so it is like if you are uh, getting unfilled inventory or remnant inventory that can be uh, many uh, like maximized through the adsense backfill for this new unit add unit which you are creating frequency caps you can select from here it is an optional thing label frequency cap that limits the number of times a specific creative can serve to an add unit labels are associated with creatives creatives associated with that level respect the frequency cap set for that level in the ad unit and format frequency caps can also be said that the limit number of times any creative can serve to an ad unit with format frequency cap refresh rate is optional if you want to keep it like uh, no refresh then no refresh, refresh rate if you want to keep it refresh rate then you can keep the refresh rate between 30 to 120 seconds so uh, this is not applicable to the adx tags allows you to have add units in mobile app automatically refresh at a specified in, uh, intervals so this is useful for apps where users stay on one screen for a long period of time such as games to maximize ad menu so as uh, described here refresh rate for new ad units is optional and it is only applicable for mobile app ad units where the user is spending a long time so that uh, the ads which he or she is seeing is to be refreshed and so that he gets uh, to see different type of ads over there especially in gaming apps uh, it is generally recommended 
where the users spend a lot of time in uh, playing any game so uh, the refresh rate ensures that he sees uh, a variety of ads during the playing of the game then we will uh, move forward this is labels so this is optional add labels to the ad unit so that creative wrappers can be applied when created was served to the ad unit so it is optional so you just have to keep it as it is then you have to save it add unit is saved then you again go on all add units you have to search on new test add unit which you have created so this is the test add unit which has been created so you can click on this test add unit so this is because there is no uh, add unit performance because this is not active like uh, this is not being used this tag is not being used so you cannot see any insights regarding uh, the add unit performance uh, line items associated because there are no line items because it has not been used yield groups are generally for the all the partners you have ad exchange partners like uh, in mobi matic meta so that needs to be added for this particular ad unit then this can be done here then this we come to our main thing which is a google publisher tag so when you go to tag you have to select a tag type which is google publisher tag mobile application tag or amp tag so here we are making a google publisher tag for website so you just have to select this google publisher tag to continue so you are not making a passback tag passback tags are generally for other uh, like ad tech networks who want to uh, like monetize the remnant ad inventories of any publisher then we create passback tags so that they are able to monetize these tags via their own ad tech single request enabled you have to enable single request that is by de default you have to enable it uh, if you want to uh, like uh, collapse the empty divs because sometimes the ad is not delivered so the ad location is collapsed so in that case you have to enable this uh, if you want to uh, have page level key values like and the uh, this age location and everything so you can select all the values that is an optional thing generally uh, if you are uh, like uh, specifically making this uh, ad tag for these kind of things like you, you have to add geo targeting in the ad unit that is all um, like generally not required because you have a functionality in Google Ad Manager where you can uh, geo target the particular ad units through the audience segmentation features so that can be done from there so you don't need to do this optional thing of page level key values to be added generally key values are like age arrival boarding station class accommodation audience destination and everything so that uh, is generally which is available for targeting so here you don't have to select these then uh, if you want to select out of page creative then you have to generally it is not recommended because sometimes the ads delivered by out of page creative are totally user intrusive so enable for live traffic so live traffic is like if generating an ad tag for live stream video this ensures the ability to handle heavy live stream traffic volume where all ad breaks are delivered at the same time so it differs from publisher to publisher it is a kind of social media then uh, a tag is to be created and on a social media site then that is a different thing where you are enabling live traffic for your uh, ad location from where you are doing the uh, this uh, live uh, shows and all so you don't have to uh, enable this size is 300 and 250 medium rectangle adds a lot key values is also optional like age arrival that we discussed already then we will continue so this is the document header and this is the document body you have to copy the header this is an asynchronous tag GPT asynchronous tags it is important to know that GPT asynchronous tags are something which is 
rendered simultaneously with the page when the page loads so it helps in uh, removing the excess load which goes on the website because of the delivery of ads so it uh, minimizes the load time of the website because the loading of the ad has been done simultaneously because of the type of tag which we are having that is asynchronous tag over here so you have to copy uh, this tag and this is the document body so these tags need to be copied and then it needs to be given to your developer if you are yourself the developer then you can just copy and paste this in the head and the body of the website page so that these ads start delivering so this is the tags which needs to be copy and pasted this is for the gpt tags however for mobile app tags you need to follow a different procedure that uh, i will discuss in a different video the procedure of tag making is similar in this manner only however in mobile app tags you just get a normal script of uh, mobile app two, two page script for this uh, two page header and two page uh, uh, like body and uh, uh, two line header and two line of body and after that uh, you have to implement some steps which are required for implementing mobile app tags through uh, like android and developer uh, a lesson which is already available on Google Ad Manager. I will tell you in detail how these mobile app tags are created and how these uh, tags are implemented for Android as well as iOS in the next video. As of now, you learn about the GPT tags which uh, help you uh, in publishing uh, these ad units on your uh, publisher website. So that's all for uh, today's video. So because I was getting too many requests for how to uh, create uh, new tags for uh, uh, mobile and uh, this website as well as mobile app so today we are only discussing the uh, GPT tags the Google publisher tags for website how these tags are created so you can go through this video and if you have any questions to ask you can ask in the comment box of the video I will be happy to help you if you are finding any difficulty in creation of tags or implementation of such tags in your uh, website. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a good day. Keep learning and keep implementing new things in programmatic advertising. And uh, I wish you all the best for your bright uh, career ahead. Thank you very much.